I know a lot of our viewers have Bluebird boxes that they put out and joining me today is Dr. Tim O'Connell who's here to kind of give us an update on the Bluebird population. Can you tell us a little bit about what we might be expecting? Sure. Well, there, there has been something interesting that happened with Bluebirds in our state over the past couple of years. And a lot of folks will remember uh, a couple of Februarys ago and uh, right around Valentine's Day. And there was a winter storm that came through and we just had really cold uh, temperatures set in and then like really thick ice. Mm -hmm. When that happens and when that sticks around for more than a couple of days, we actually could lose a lot of birds. There's a lot of species that really need to get to the ground to find food. And that's what bluebirds do when they're here for the winter. They're really sort of uh, feeding on grasshoppers or crickets or things like that that might come active uh, when the sun hits the grass, even in, even in winter, right, normally. Right. Um, but that was just too much for them. And uh, sadly, we lost almost the entire bluebird population for the state. Mm. Uh, and this is something we're, we're studying uh, in, in our lab and, and with others. So it's taken two years for bluebirds to really come back from their population being knocked down like that. So uh, I'm, I'm always happy to see bluebirds, but this year I'm ecstatic because that means they're recovering. Okay. Uh, and so I'm really happy to have them back in my nest boxes at home. And when we talk about bluebird houses, do most of them live in those bluebird houses? They do. Uh, you know, in the olden days, uh, bluebirds would just nest in any sort of cavity they could find in a tree. But they can't, you know, excavate those holes themselves. Uh, so they're using holes that maybe a woodpecker made a few years earlier and then has abandoned. Or maybe where a branch falls out of a tree and there's a little bit of rot in the tree. That's what they would use historically. Um, one of the problems that bluebirds faced in the last century was that uh, European starlings were introduced into the U.S. and they became super abundant. And starlings are also cavity nesters and they're also really aggressive. So the starling sort of uh, pushed all the bluebirds out of the available houses that they would have been using. This, was, this prompted people who were interested in birds back in the 1950s to start making more cavities available for bluebirds. And that's why there are these little boxes all over the place. Okay. And almost all the bluebirds, almost all the eastern bluebirds today nest in those little boxes. Okay, so keep putting them out, right? Keep putting them out. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. No problem. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.